Hi Libra, welcome to your reading for July, both general and love. And I have a lot of messages coming through, so I'm going to go ahead and put the cards out and then I will share everything because I know most people jump to the spread anyway and I want you to hear all the messages. So let's see, Libra, July, okay. Well, we had is it one or two, two cards that came out. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out all the cards and we will get started and I will make sure you can see them. The Three of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Wands. And we've got the sun. At least the sun is here. It is in reverse, but we do have the sun. I want to go ahead and see what is underneath here, and then I will move everything. We have the two of wands. Well, we've had a lot of twos. I felt that the number three was going to be of importance, and we do have two threes here, which I feel like represents growth. Some of you may be going through some major growing pains. Let me move this so you can see it and I want to get started. Um, first of all, I want to say that I do feel that some of you are moving away. I'm getting the words breaking free and releasing and I feel like it is from a toxic situation. This can be somebody in the workplace, it can be a boss, um, but I, I'm picking it up as either friends or lovers is how it's coming across. I do feel like I'm getting uh, that, okay, <laughs> there's so many messages. Um, I want to start off with a marriage. Somebody is making a decision about a marriage or a union. Again, it could be friends or lovers, whether or not they want to stay or go. I am getting, though, that there are celebrations regarding a marriage. So I feel like this is a reunion or a celebration of, I don't know, it could be an anniversary. The other thing is you may be hearing news about somebody getting married or you yourself may be attending a wedding or marriage in July. Um, but I also feel like there's an announcement. Marriage is coming up very strong here. So I feel like it could be like a like a star comes out, a movie star or somebody that's, you know, known worldwide is how it's coming across to me. Um the news is spread about a union. Now, I also hear, though, that there is, especially with the Three of Swords here, um, a break down in communications or a break up. Um, now, this breakdown may have to happen in order for you to get your wishes and your dreams and to be able to look forward. Somebody's still hanging on to the past, and it's not serving them is, is how it's coming across to me. Um, and so there's definitely a decision in love. And usually this card here can uh, represents divorce and or separation. Now, you don't necessarily have to be married in order to, to get separated, but I am picking up that there could be a, there's definitely something with marriage that's in here. Okay. I am getting something also about surgery. I'm getting, I feel like this could be cosmetic surgery. It might be something to do with the teeth or another part, but I feel like this is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's not required. It's, I can't think of, my mind has gone blank, but elective, elective surgery. Thank you so much for giving me that word. For others, I do feel like there are surgeries. Um, this could be um, like thyroid surgery. I picked this up for another, uh, another 
reading, but I don't remember what sign it was. Also, I'm getting the teeth. This could be a root canal. Wisdom teeth are being pulled. Uh, the other thing I'm getting is headaches or ocular migraines and may have something to do with the heart, heart medication or blood pressure medication. So, you know, if you're not feeling up to par, definitely check with your doctor. Sometimes it's side effects from a medication, but you definitely want to check with your doctor. Also, be careful of too much sun here. Some of you may be traveling or moving and you may be moving to a place that um, there may be sun or lack thereof. But if there is sun and your skin is sensitive, just make sure you put on that SPF because you just might not be used to it. Um, that's another message that I'm getting here. I'm getting also, there may be a, a delay of something moving forward, but I do feel by the end of July, even with the sun card in reverse, I do feel that something comes out that is positive for you in a po yeah, it's in, in, in a good way. So I feel like, you know, don't give up. Um, there's definitely opportunities, I feel. This is coming across as higher learning. I'm sorry, I don't know if I said this already. Higher learning, higher education. Somebody may be looking for a job. It might be teaching. You might be considering becoming a teacher. I'm also hearing spiritual teaching. And so... I feel like the sign of Aquarius and Gemini are important. Also, Taurus is coming up. And with all these fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, I had to say that. But some of you, it might be like teaching the metaphysical. You might be doing something like this, tarot reading or uh, honing in your skills on mediumship or... Uh, you know, Reiki, long distance healing, I'm getting something definitely with that. So, but I feel like definitely the number three, there may be a situation where there's three people involved and there is a decision that needs to be made. It may be in your hands. It could be that there's three options, but I feel like more that these are three people. You and two other people. Now, it can be a situation where there's three people that are going to be, you know, you're waiting to hear back from. Um, it could be a third consult. It could be, a, you know, a partnership that maybe you're looking to merge or maybe you're working for a company where you're waiting to hear news about a merger or somebody is possibly selling something waiting to see if that goes through or not. But I definitely feel that when it comes to, especially with the swords here and the three of swords being at the heart of the matter, that there's possibly separation or some sadness, um, Remember, it's always darkest before the dawn. We do have the sun still here, so the sun is going to shine again. Whatever loss that you are dealing with or separation or lack of communication. But some of you, I do feel like, I do feel like there is definitely a decision when it comes to love. And I feel like you are contemplating on what your next move is. Now, it could be that you're waiting to hear news from somebody else and they're the ones who has a decision to make in love. And this could be you waiting. But I feel more like it's in your hands than somebody else's. So these are just some messages that are coming through. Remember, if you would like a private reading for yourself, I would love to do one for you. You can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Just click on Tarot Services. And you can also click on just schedule a reading. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourself. All right. Bye.